Dark Hand Arts just released an incredible feature and content update for his great 3D character creator for RPG developer Bakking. So we're going to check that out. And we're also going to create a character in this character creator and then put it in Bakking fast. So here's your tutorial video. All right, go download the tool, unzip it, and then double click on Pixel 3D Character Generator. Version 1.1 of the tool features a resizable interface. I really, really appreciate that. And a lot of blank space on the right here, which is to make room for future features. We can also change both of the given color channels in any given layer now at the same time. So let's make a cute Oni slash demon girl and get her into Bakking. And we can also see the hex value of the color that we have selected for the layer. We have a mouth layer now. The color channels for the eyes changes the pupil color independently. More hairstyles. There's the twin tails. I knew he'd come around. Oh, the over eye is cute. All right, I think she's cute. I think she looks good. I'm gonna put her in Bakking. Generate, just take some time, wait patiently. In about 20 seconds, you'll get a pop-up window with the folder containing your new assets, character.fbx and character.texture.ping. Now you can back them up somewhere if you want, but other than that, we're ready to put them in Bakking. So open up your Bakking project, and then we're gonna go to the left side menu and click Resources. Click 3D Stamps, and then click Add. Use the Local Files tab to navigate to your folder where your 3D character generator files are, and then just click on character.fbx. Note the settings in the lower left corner, keep optimization triangulation on, and keep the scale at one. Click Add and Exit. Ah, there's no animations. Ah, it looks like a monster. Don't worry, that's completely normal. On the right side of the screen, click Motion. Use the Local Files tab again to navigate to character.fbx, select it, and click Add and Exit. If you get one of these warnings prompting you that a file with the same name has been registered, just click OK. We are telling Bakking that all of the animation data that it needs is right there in the original FBX file. Sure enough, there they are. Now you can preview some of the animations, but our texture still needs some work, so let's fix that. Go to the Materials menu. Select the character's texture. It automatically imported with the character, and it'll be the last thing that you imported, so for me it'll be all the way at the bottom of the list. On the right side of the screen, we're going to click on the option next to Culling and change that from Backface Culling to Double-Sided. Then, under the Shader options, we are going to select the option next to Shader, and select Map No Lit Discard. Make sure that you change the threshold value underneath to 1.0. And you're done. Your character is going to be in your Objects tab. You can stamp them on your map. She is adorable. From here, if you want to make her an NPC, you can convert to Event. Now you can change the specific default motion that she's doing on the map here, just by clicking on the arrow and selecting from the list. This list is only going to get bigger over time. Now I picked Wave, and you'll notice she's completely frozen. That's because she went through the animation one time and then stopped. So we're going to fix the loops in the animations. Go back to Resources. Under 3D Stamps, go to Motions, select your character, and now all of your motions are going to be listed on the right-hand side of the screen. Just identify the ones that need to have looped animations and turn the looping on. Definitely make sure you turn them on for wait walk, and run. We're pretty much done. If you want to turn this model into a cast, just go to Database, and under Casts, click Add. Click 3D Stamps, then click your character. Just click Add and Exit, then just click Apply and OK. And of course, you don't have to put them down as objects and convert them to events. You can start them off as events. Let's just put down a stationary speak event and just click Change Graphic. We'll click 3D Stamps and select our character. Then we'll click whatever animation we want, click Add and Exit. And now our NPC is a valid event on the map right from the beginning. And as always, if you want to start out playing as this cast, go to Game Definition, Start Settings, and under Main Cast Operating Cast, select your character. Click OK. Now we'll test play. There's our demon lady. She looks great walking around the map. She immediately has her running animations, her walk, and her idle. But wait, there's more. If you go back to Resources under 3D Stamps and go to your Materials settings, Map No Lit Discard is not the only shader that will work with these models. You can use Map No Lit Add for a very ghostly effect, Albedo Normal Map Discard with your threshold set to 1 for a look that's a little more reactive to lighting, and there are a lot of other maps and map options that will work too. If your model does start to look a little bit like a monster, check that threshold for Discard Alpha, usually setting it to 1 will fix that. And then there are some that won't work so well. Beauty is in the eye of the beholder. And that is it. Please let me know if you found this tutorial useful, and please, please go check out Dark and Art's 3D Pixel Character Creator. Linked in the description below. What have I done?